Hi, Tomo Fujita here, and today I'm gonna show you simple way and very effective way to practice guitar. So um, I'm gonna use this acoustic guitar today, and the first one, I'm sure you know, you know, uh, simple practice routine like you know scales, you know fingering, picking patterns, and I think this one, it's to me, it's really effective. Um, so-called chromatic scale, you know, chromatic. One of the reasons is, um, say if you play pentatonic, like, kind of, you know, moving around, you know, um, different finger to move, right? Also major scale, if you know major scale. Again, like, you know, it's not 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, two, four 3, 2, 1, like, you know, um, right next to each other. It's a kind of a jump around. So, to me, play like, you know, um, major scale on the piano, like all white keys right next to each other, you know. So, if you think about that, chromatic scale is a very effective way to train your finger, you know. So, first one, I want to look at really carefully. Let's do a sixth string and place your finger first, second, third, fourth. Really simple. Now, some of you already thinking about, okay, should I practice how fast, how long, or uh, should I use metronome? All those, you know, uh, possibilities are all good, but I think the first step is you want to play really slow, really neat, so that your finger can go anywhere you want to go, you know? So the first one, you know, what you want to do is like this. Play really slow or downstroke and keep, keep your finger down, like just like that, okay? So you don't want to go, see this is kind of bad habit, so that's not good, okay? You got that? Now, here, this, this is really important, your thumb position. So the first one, we are going to play sixth string, right? So that your thumb position around center or maybe a little lower the center, you know, the back, right? Okay, so that's a simple one. You should know that. And then you go slowly. And you have to sustain the last note and go to the next one. That's more effective, okay? Now, the reason I use acoustic guitar right now, just because acoustic guitar is really well made to play proper you know, on the guitar. So like, if you put your elbow right here, and naturally, your picking position fall into the sound hole right here, okay? But electric guitar, so many different shapes, very difficult to play right place, you know? So if you have an acoustic guitar, this is kind of right, you know, way to play, you know, right here, you know? This is how you pick you know, the right place, okay? And I'm using floating, so I don't touch anywhere, you know, right now, okay? Now, you go up to right here, ninth fret, and then you turn. You go four, three, two, one. Let me do bad habit. See? That's natural. Just because your, your finger is not made for guitar, so you have to think about how to move slowly, like that. So you have practice, even you can stay same place. You got that? You sustain a note, and you reach 11th fret. Then you do the same thing, but slowly. That's the main reason I do not recommend to use a metronome from the first time because you have to work your fingering, your picking. Timing is the most important part. It's not about the speed. That speed or accuracy and all that stuff, you know, it's the next step, you know. So the first, you re really want to play um, slowly. You got the idea? Okay. Now, this is very simple you can do that for a while you know for a while means every day five minutes ten minutes a day and then you should do every day so in other words about the amount of time 
no, really no need to practice hour or two hours. A lot of people ask me, how long should I practice? So already you're concerned about how long. You're believing how long and means more, you know. It means like the more you do, it's better. Sometimes, yes, it does. But this case, it consistency. Every day you have to do little by little. Just like you need a good, you know, good night's sleep, you have to eat three times a day, right? You know, very important, you know. So, okay, here we go. So now, this is real practice I want to show you. So now, I'm going to write in the description too how to practice. One, two, one, two. Three, two, one, two. Three, four, three, four, well, three, two, yes. One, two, three, four. Okay. So now here, listen to this one. On purpose, I play third of times, I play a little bit softer. So right now, you don't have to worry about so much, but uh, at least you can try play normal dynamics, you know, normal, right? And then try to play a little bit softer, because softer, softer you make, you make more dynamics range, you know, bigger, you know what I mean? So what you want to do is play normal, but try to do play a little bit softer. As you play softer, now you can hear left hand uh, left hand noise okay you can hear left hand touch the strings or hit the fret so now it's time to use less pressure see to play guitar you have to press somehow but you press then you you know push too much pressure so what you want to do is make less pressure in order to do that you have to do the same thing over and over but short period of time so that way uh, you can fix it see practice to play better is almost always fixing something not just play patterns over and over that's almost a memorization and just repeating that's too easy so this is a little hard you know so I want you to do practice just like that go up you know up to 12 frets okay now descending oh sorry Patterns go like this. Four, three, four, three, two, three, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. And you have to make an effort that move less, you know, distance. Do you know what I mean? So really hard to do. So do you understand? You know, simple patterns, but you learn the patterns and then you do pr practice from first fret up to ninth and going back. That's one unit. And when you practice one unit, 
uh, when I practice slowly, it takes about a minute and a half, so 19 seconds, right? But then make sure you don't want to hurt your finger because this is it's tough, tough exercise. So maybe after you do the one string, you know, shake your hand or just relax it a little bit, you know, maybe 15 seconds, 20 seconds, then do, 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 do another one. So I suggest maybe you should do six string and, you know, fifth, so like two strings. So it takes about less than five minutes. If you want to do more, you can do more, but limit is 10 minutes. In other words, you do a little bit every day. See, 10 minutes somehow you can make a time, right? 10 minutes, please do. Then you have to believe yourself you can improve, okay? Don't, don't doubt, you know, just believe. Because if you don't believe, it's not going to work, you know? So you believe and don't expect because nothing is going to happen next day, few days, you know? So give yourself chance, two weeks. Believe two weeks and practice every day, five minutes a day, okay? So for example, you know, Monday, you do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Perfect. Two strings each. Just like that. Okay, two weeks. Uh, please practice. And if you like this video, please share with, you know, your friends. And more people see, you know, right, proper exercise. Everybody become happy. If you become happy, everybody become happy. So this world become peaceful place. So let's practice. Okay.